Greetings, YouTube. The President of the United States is a terrorist. And not just because he's a member of the GOP, because all members of the GOP are terrorists. Every single GOP politician is a terrorist. They are an enemy of the United States of America. Um, and uh, those that give them money are aiding a terrorist organization who is out to destroy democracy. No, he's a terrorist because he is a stochastic terrorist. Now, a stochastic terrorist is a person that creates an environment that fosters terrorist acts while being able to deny directly giving orders to someone to commit a terrorist act. What do I mean by that? So a stochastic terrorist doesn't stand on a podium and point to someone and say, you Bob, go kill some protesters. No, that would be actionable. No, a stochastic terrorist stands on that same podium and speaks endlessly, as well as every interview and through every tweet about how terrible and horrible and evil those protesters are, about how they're trying to destroy America. At the same time, doing the same thing about black people and brown people and yellow people and red people and women and Muslims. An ending stream of vile prejudice and mythology. All stoked create in the minds of their audience this unending, incredible sense of fear and loathing and anxiety. And they keep it up until someone in their base decides, by gosh and by golly, I'm going to act on what the president's been telling me. And they do. And a 17-year-old legally acquires a military-grade weapon, crosses a state line, and murders two protesters. Or someone walks into a church and kills nine black people. Or drives a vehicle through a crowd of protesters and kills a woman. That's stochastic terrorism. And the person in charge who caused all this chaos and death has plausible deniability. I didn't tell Bob to do that. No, you didn't. But you created an environment where Bob, ever eager to please you and to feel that they're a member of the base, a true warrior for the white race, was willing to finally step up and commit an act of terrorism. Encouraged by you, because they're killing the people you don't like. You have to remember the President of the United States is a lifelong bigot, a racist from childhood all the way up to his age of 74. He was raised by a Klansman. He was sued by the U.S. government for being prejudiced against black people in rental practices. He took out a full page ad against five men who are innocent of a crime saying that they should have been executed. He's a racist. He's always been a racist. He will always be a racist. He's also a sexual predator. But we seem to ignore that amongst all the racism. So that's what he does. At the podium, in the interviews, and in the tweets. Oh, the endless tweets. He encourages his base to commit acts of terrorism against protesters, against Democrats, it's black people, brown people, yellow people, red people, against women, against Muslims. An unending barrage of vile bigotry and hatred. He doesn't even have to complete sentences. He'll just start a sentence and then kind of stop. Because the next part of that sentence would be incredibly, unbelievably racist and bigoted and he actually doesn't want to say that but he doesn't have to because the base hears it echoed in their mind 
they know the beats to that particular song. They know the lyrics. They don't need to hear every word. So he stands up there and leads the band. And the people all join in. And some of them feel the need to play solos. So they grab an AR-15 and they wander into the streets and they kill people in his name. The president is a terrorist. 